This is Brian Putt. Today I want to talk about the Meyerson distribution. Why is this important? Oftentimes we have subject matter expert input that reflects a P10, P50, P90 percentiles. And what we want to do is sample from that distribution. The Meyerson distribution easily allows us to do that. And we'll use SIPMath to generate the Meyerson distribution from those P10, 50, 90s. The other instructional point I want to make is how to generate an interactive cumulative distribution function. I saw several YouTube videos that were just poorly done. They didn't show you the proper way to do that. So I will include that as part of generating the Meyerson distribution, a sample of which you can see on the left hand side where I have a P105090 and you'll notice it is not symmetrical. The P90 to P50 has a differential of 10, whereas the P50 to P10 only has a 5 differential. Let's flip over to an Excel worksheet. I assume you have the SIPMath toolbar already in installed. If not, you'll need to do that. And you can look up my instructions for installing the SIPMath toolbar in my YouTube channel. So the first thing with this blank worksheet is we need to initialize the workbook. And this added the PM table and some Smith chart and a SIPMath chart data down here. So we need we need to identify the P10, the P50, and the P90 outcomes. So what shall we do? If we're going to replicate that other chart that I showed you earlier, we'll put in 5, 10, and 20. But these can be any numbers. These are just simply inputs. And I like to make the inputs yellow. Now, we're going to generate a result over here for the, the Meyerson distribution. And the Meyerson distribution is going to require a random number. And it's going to I'm going to give it a seed. I'm going to specify so I can change the seeds. With the SIPMath toolbar installed, we simply come over here and say generate the Meyerson distribution. And here we will specify the P10 tab, the P50 tab, and the P90. The random cell will be here and the seed will be here and we'll use the HDR methodology for generating that random number. We've now generated the distribution, but now we need to store it someplace. So we will do that is go to SIPMath toolbar, define outputs. We'll need to give this a name. I'm going to call it D underscore Meyerson. You could also point to a cell with the proper name. I don't want to use spark lines because I'm going to generate a cumulative distribution function. Okay, the results of this Meyerson distribution that matches the P105090 is over here in the PM table. We can see that distribution. In this version of the model, I have updated it for SIPMath version 3.0. I've included a spark line here for the result of the Meyerson. And I've shown the EV as 11.5. Now I'd like to plot this and see the cumulative distribution function. With the SIPMath 3.0 toolbar, we can do that easily. We come over here to SIPMath, and we can generate graphs. And we'll specify the histogram over here. And we'll specify cumulative distribution function over here. Here are what the two graphs look like. This is an XY graph, which shows the cumulative distribution function appropriately. And if we want to home in on part of this, we could change the axis to be something less. Other charts could be added to this if there was other distributions to compare. You'll notice that the expected value of the Meyerson is shown in the title as 11.6. One of the advantages of SIPMath is that the graphics are all interactive. So for example, right now, 
we have this asymmetric distribution of P105090. If I made it symmetrical and put in a 15 here, we should end up with a distribution that looks like a normal distribution with a mean of 10, and we see 9.9 .9 here. Or I can turn it into much more of a log normal by, let's say, making this into a 40. And now we have much more like a, a log normal distribution. Let me expand this axis a little bit here. We'll just reset that to whatever it was, wants to be. And so now we have this log, very long tailed log normal distribution. So I'll set it back here to 20, and it's all very repeatable. Please visit www.probabilitymanagement.org. You can download the toolbar there. There's some instructional videos, other appropriate materials also available. You might want to watch some of the other videos in my YouTube channel. Uh, you can contact me on LinkedIn or at brian at Thank you.